All right, so you had surgery on Thursday. Yes. And you are kind of in that group of my favorite patients. <laughs> diabetic. Because oh. we love to operate on diabetic patients because we, how do we do on your diabetes? Well, um, mornings are about 200. And before the surgery, if I had no insulin or pills, it would have been 400. Good so. start. Coming down. Coming down, good. And what are you taking now? Um, I just, just to top it off. <laughs> Just a little regular, just to make me feel a little bit better. So in the mornings, so, mm -hmm. you're taking how much regular? Just about 10 units. In about side. 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And anything else during the day? No. And before, you would take the Lantus in the morning? 70 units. Or 70. Up to 100. Uh, 70 to 100 units of Lantus in the morning. And then you would take some regular during the day. Yep. And if you had to guess, the average day, the total amount of regular you would take would be? About 30. So 70 to 100 to 130 a day, and now you're taking 10 of regular. And four extra pills on top of that. And plus four pills before. And now just the 10 just of regular. 10. That's pretty cool. Well, let's call it a day. <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's cool. Good. Feels cool. good. Um, well, that's kind of the big thing. What, what other questions do you have for me? I mean, uh, we're kind of the most exciting thing, of course, is to be able to be in striking distance to get rid of that diabetes. I think that we're going to get it then, huh? I, I think so. After the weight is gone, I think that things will settle down, yep. get more weight off, less than four. Well, and you say weight, but of course it's not the weight. You know, we haven't lost enough weight to make any difference in your diabetes. You think true, about it, right? Yeah, true. So this is the really unique thing. Now, and, and I'm going to, I think we've already talked about this, but what we thought is that weight loss helps diabetes. Mm, that's right, that's right, weight loss helps diabetes. But she only had surgery six days ago. So you can't get much weight loss, and the only weight loss you're gonna get in six days is mostly water. So how can that water make a difference? And so the research now shows that it's more than the weight loss, it's actually hormonal changes from the bypass itself. And my favorite thing to say is that when you do the bypass, that pro-insulin hormones, insulin hormones, hormones that help insulin <coughs> go up in the body of the diabetic so that their blood sugars go down because of hormonal changes. And the two, ins two insulin hormones that we're thinking of are called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP, and gastrointestinal peptide, or GYP. And I just love saying that we increase your GLP and your GYP. <laughs> And so that's what we think, in part, of course, there is weight loss. And also, long-term studies show that the islet cells in the pancreas, you know, that make the insulin, they actually hypertrophy and go up. So, are you guys going to stand? Do you want to sit down? Or? No, we're fine. Oh, okay. Can we get, I feel better if you guys can, do you mind? Is there a reason you don't want to sit, or? Thank you. I just felt uncomfortable. <laughs> I felt bad because we had the ladies standing. I, I don't mind if you stand. <laughs> Do you feel like you pulling up a part of the floor? You can sit with our... Uh... <laughs> yeah. um, what else do we need to talk about then? Has your week been okay otherwise? Um, it's been uh, excellent. We uh, walked around the casino on Friday. Thursday was surgery. Friday we we left. Saturday, we went to a casino and walked around for about six hours. Wow, wow really? Um, went to the Shark Reef. Yeah, what do you think of that? I loved it. Okay, so this is a review. <laughs> <laughs> and then yesterday, we went, or on Sunday, we went with uh, Marianne and her husband. We went to um, Hoover Dam. Yeah. We took the tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday, I needed a patch. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, should we, can we talk about that? My friend said, um, why don't we go to Walgreens? <laughs> yeah, now, do you mind? I mean, now, this would really help others, yeah. you know, yeah. especially other support people. Mm -hmm. um, but what we see in our patients is pretty wild and unusual. Just like we can see these radical changes in blood sugar and insulin hormones, we also recognize that obesity is associated with markedly elevated estrogen in women. We think that's why women who are overweight have such increased risk of breast and endometrial cancer because of the high estrogen. Okay. Now again, one of the remarkable things is within hours of the new connection, 
the estrogen level, which is elevated in our pre-op patients, begins to rapidly decline. That sounds good because, you know, lower risk of cancer and things like that. But just like if you quit smoking, it would be good for your risk of getting lung cancer or emphysema, I just wouldn't want to be near you when you quit. <laughs> <laughs> to preserve the friendship. That's <laughs> right. So there was a little period of mild grumpiness? Well, it got worse when the Walgreens on the corner was out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered what that woman was on the evening news. <laughs> So what, what can you tell us about the events or how you recognize this might be an issue? Do you mind? You're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> she just wasn't herself. Yeah. You know, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't bad. It she was, was just a little just, snippy? I, it's just, you know, I think it, just, uh, yeah. No, well. <laughs> <laughs> say what would you say? No, could you tell any difference? I, I could because I kept looking at my yeah. yogurt going, oh, Lord, I don't want that. <laughs> Just, she just that. Herself. Yeah. She okay. Because she normally has a pretty perky, nice personality yeah. and, and just well, a little bit off. And a lot of energy and very decisive and very, you know, yep. we travel very well together. We traveled in the past and she just was off. Yeah. And that was about it. And the estrogen patch did make a difference. I think, I think you're, you're back I think to so. today. Yeah. I mean, at least, you know. Yeah. It, and that the neat no thing about it, see, is it, let's suppose you had depression or irritability yeah. and you got Prozac. The neat thing about the estrogen patch is, in contrast to the Prozac, which can take two weeks to have an impact, the estrogen patch, according to most of our patients, works within a couple of hours. That's what we hear. So I don't know if you noticed that, but well, we, we, I put it on at, at a casino. So okay. <laughs> it was fun after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it does work. It seems to. Well, that sounds like it worked fairly quickly. If yeah. it worked at all, we're not sure, but it sounds like it might have. So, so those of you who are having surgery, this is where it's kind of educational. If you notice. You know that your support person is having a little bit of grumpiness. That there's there's no reason to be a hero. Yeah. You know, just do it. Yeah. yeah. Staples out. Okay. Okay. Oh, my thing. We're having a little discussion back there. <laughs> also, I want to save my staples. Oh. Because okay. I also don't believe that I'll remember any of this. And okay. I need a, it was on the. It was on the. Yeah, it was on the table. Sure. Oh, you have one. Did mm -hmm. I give it to you already? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think you might have. Could have. Never mind. <laughs> um, she, Jennifer's a glass artist, and she's gonna put them in the glass, make me a paperweight. Okay. So, can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's gonna or? be a big market for that though. <laughs> Having a website, you know, where you can put your staples in your uh, glass. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, applause. <laughs> okay, then our second diabetic, right, who we delayed. You mind being on TV? No. Okay,